All right. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in the call. Today, we have Dom with us from Expatrio, and we will be talking about uh, the blocked account because you guys know that this is a major requirement for most of the students and also for the ones who are already now in Germany. We are going to talk about how to activate your blocked account. So, Dom, welcome to the uh, live session. Tell us a bit about yourself and Expatrio, and then we jump into uh, the main theme. in 2017 um, with the focus to have a relocation platform for international students and expatriates who are wishing to live in Germany. And with our all-inclusive service, um, you are able to minimize the bureaucracy you are facing when coming to Germany. So um, everything is already set. You open the blocked account. Maybe some of you already got the health insurance. Um, and these two things are super essential for your visa. Um, and today, as Barat already said, I will show you how easy it is to activate the blocked account. And if you have additional questions, of course, I'm here to answer all the questions. Perfect. So let me quickly share my screen. So this is the user portal everyone of you should know. Um, so this is Bobon, and Bobon is our uh, test case uh, in this in this field for the block the connectivation. What you can find here is uh, you have an overview about all the products you've applied for the blocked account, also the health insurance, current account, which is also uh, important here when being in Germany, um, and many other things yeah? like to learn German accommodation, and maybe if you're already interested finding a job. This is also something you can do here. Let's check how to activate the blocked account. For that, we need to click here. And then we can see the general. Um, and we can see. We can also see our status. Activation is awaited. Um, so this means your application is completed. You can find the 06 blocked amount confirmation. This is the document you need for the visa uh, on your user portal download page. And now we are waiting for you to arrive in Germany and activate the blocked account by clicking activate on the right. So let's say we are in Germany now. We've arrived, everything is fine. And now let's activate our account. So we can watch a video where everything is explained. If you should forget something, I will tell you today. Don't worry. You can watch the video. Everything is uh, super easy. Um, explained here again and will also help you. Yeah, when clicking next, uh, we will start the activation process. So let's do it. First thing first, please provide one of the following documents. We need the Anmeldung or Meldebescheinigung. By the way, and I know Barat already told you, this word is maybe the most important German word you should learn in the very, very beginning. Anmelden. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> we will also give you the uh, opportunity to send us the rental contract because sometimes it takes a bit uh, to, to have the Anmeldung already. Wohnungsgeberbescheinigung is also fine to us or the utility bill. Um, so let's say we are living here at Linienstraße 156, postal code, the city. If you should have um, a room number, for example, because you're living in a dormitory or something like this, please also share. It's not that important for the blocked account, but when talking about the health insurance, it's super necessary because if we do not have the room number, then Techniker Krankenkasse, our insurance provider, won't be able to send you your insurance card. So please always make sure that all the necessary information 
are given to us. So let's say we are living in room 100 or 200, and maybe you already have a German phone number. We can also type it in here. Then I need to upload my proof of address. So I click here. I have some documents. I upload this, and when I see this information view, this is a confirmation that my document is updated. We can also take a view. And if we say, okay, process is done, we can click next. The next very important thing is the current bank account. Um, it's an IBAN, which you receive from the bank, and also a big number, which you also receive from the bank. If you shouldn't have any banks so far, don't worry. We also recommend you several banks we are also working with. N26, Commerzbank, Moniz, um, other banks. So you will find a bunch of um, information in our um, user portal already or on our website. So feel free to, to check out which uh, bank you prefer. Very important here, all the banks we are working with are charging no extra fees. So this is very important. If you withdraw money, you do not have to pay or for the general um, account, you do not have to pay. Why I tell you this, I have a very old account. I've opened with, I don't know, 10 years and then I got 18. So it was an official account. And now I received a message that I have to pay five euro per month for this. Um, I'm not using this anymore. So I just pay for something I don't need. Um, so this is one thing we would like to protect you for. Um, and this is why we exactly just work with banks where students don't have to pay additional money. So we type in the IBAN here, and this is very important that you give us the right IBAN, because if not, we will transfer the money, the 861 euro you need for your living here in Germany to a different person. Of course, money can bounce back because um, banks are also double checking if the receiver, so the person where we are sending the money is connected to this IBAN, but this would bring some problems. So please really make sure that the IBAN you give us is your IBAN uh, under your name um, to make sure that you receive your money. So it's uploaded. We can click here where I confirm that my bank details are correct. And then we click next and that's it. And last but not least, we need to upload the visa document yeah? um, where we say, okay, this is my arrival date. My visa start date is um, maybe because we're already here in um, end of September, it's um, 30, uh, it's, it's today, and my study will start um, tomorrow, and I'm already here, so then I can upload my visa document now. Same here, as soon as it's updated, we, uh, we will receive the information here, um, and then we can click next. So, Summarizing, we will receive all the necessary information. Um, okay, how long does it take now to verify your account? So this will take around two business days to verify all the documents because the bank need to double check, um, the IBA need to double check, um, and then we will transfer the money. So the transfer in general will take maybe around three to five days. So the whole process from uploading all the documents till you receive the first funds will take around five to seven days. Um, depending uh, when you're doing this, during the weekend, banks are closed. So let's say you transfer them or you open everything on, on Monday, latest on Friday, you should receive your money. Yeah, Really latest, mid of the uh, week um, after after the uh, activation. Um, if there should be some problems, you can always get in contact with us. Um, if things are unclear or if you're waiting for your money, um, this is the last point. Um, if you shouldn't receive the money within the seven days, please feel free to get in contact with us. Not before, because as said, um, we need to check a few documents. We need to transfer, the bank need to transfer the money. Um, and then everything is fine. The good thing is you will receive automatically after the first payment, always um, around the end of the month, automatically um, your 861 euro so that you will be able to pay your rent, 
your health insurance um, and other costs um, you may be um, you may be opened uh, you maybe have to pay um, so this is how it works after the activation um, so let's click here activate it's loading we will receive the confirmation array. Yeah, the blocked account got activated now. Uh, we will check all the documents now within the next uh, 48 hours. If there should be something missing, we automatically also go back to you and we'll let you know, hey, there is something wrong. We can't read your address maybe, or the, um, the visa document you've uploaded is in a bad quality. So please send this again. Also to make sure that you do not have to wait more than this five to seven days to receive your money. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. That is super simple, Dom. Now, <laughs> we have some students like already asking their questions and that is, um, can we activate before arrival so that we don't need to wait uh, once we come? Smart question. Uh, unfortunately, no, uh, this doesn't work. Um, so you just can activate the account when being here in Germany. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, um, for the bank account um, you have also to to uh, register here in germany um, and um, this unfortunately doesn't work uh, already from abroad mm -hmm. but yeah it would be a nice idea <laughs> i i know Tom, like for example the people from munis I, I remember like they were um letting you like i think start their current account or something previously but now they have also changed like i tried to open the account with them recently um, and we were in Denmark and like, of course, our registered address is now Romania. So they said like you have to activate the GPS location and you have to be at the place where you are like essentially giving the address and stuff like that. I think that also like kind of like uh, went out of the water. Yeah, yeah, this is right. So regulated market um, is always um, you have to play uh, the mm -hmm. rules um, the government is, mm -hmm. is giving you. Um, so yeah. What are your recommendations for the best current accounts in Germany? So it depends, um, to be honest, what your expectation is. If you prefer nice coffee, um, go to the old banks um, because then you are also able to visit office. If you just say, hey, for me, it's fine to do everything with my phone, then I really recommend the challenger banks. For us, it's also important that your activation process is as easy as possible. What does it mean? If you're able to open and activate your account via video identification, then this is a preferred way we would recommend to you. If you say, hey, don't worry, I could also go to, um, to a post office for, um, for physical identification, also not a problem. So this is um, at the end what you prefer um, and the way you also prefer. Um, we have all the banks in our portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, at the end, it's up to you um, about the preparation. Yeah? Challenger banks, online banks, um, N26, um, for example, Moniz, um, and so on. If you prefer really having um, a store or a branch uh, near to you, then it's also Commerzbank, Sparkasse, things like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think like, um, for like smaller amounts, like, you know, 861 euros and stuff, I think like these um, app bank accounts are just like completely fine. And like you are able to like do a lot of things easily. And I think I don't think that should be a big issue. And they are super fast, uh, which means receiving the the IBAN, um, super easy process. So for N26, for example, I've received my um, IBAN within three days, um, which is amazing. Huh? Um, so. This is always, um, yeah, also also benefit when, when um, using this new challenger, uh, new banks. Mm -hmm. uh, Dom, Rohit Bargal is asking, how will we come to know that Expatria has transferred the money to our bank account? This question I don't understand, to be honest. Uh, could you could you repeat yes. this? Um, I think uh, what he means is like, how will we know like Expatrio has transferred the money to our bank account? But I think like this is just a fixed schedule and also like uh, Mango Pay essentially exactly. like, you know, transfers the money directly. Yeah. So first, we are not sending the money, the bank is sending the money because your bank, your money uh, is held by, by a bank uh, and Expatrio is not the bank. So the bank will transfer the money um, after um, always on the let's say 27 28 um to make sure that you will receive the money 
um, at the at the end of the month. This is scheduled, um, and um, then this is an automated process. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Um, Latua is asking. Um, I started studying. Um, I started studying since just okay, but will be coming over next month. My question is, will I be paid for all the month I stayed at home? Right. So I think like what she means is, um, if you essentially like come in the middle of the month, like mm-hmm. um, and you activate it, you get the eight hundred sixty one euros for that month too, or do you only get it the next month? Yeah, it depends um, on on your visa. Um, so um, we always give the offer to pay back uh, three months. Um, which means, okay, the visa uh, activation day was first of, of of August, for example, and you just be able to come to Germany uh, today because of COVID or whatever. Um, then we would ask you, hey, from when you would like to have the money? Mm-hmm. Could also be that you say, no, I'm planning to stay 12 months here in Germany. Please start payments from now. Um, then you would just uh, receive 12 months. Yeah, you could also say, hey, I will receive this uh, two additional months. Also not a problem. Then you would receive three times 861 euro and then um, nine times in the future on a monthly basis this 861 euro. Mm-hmm. OK, that, that's interesting. Um, we have one more student asking um, that is Yogesh. Katal, so is Expatrio giving the health insurance and travel insurance or they're collaborating with some other com- company? Yeah, so we have our value package and um, maybe this is also something yes. I can quickly show you here. Yeah, that would be um, nice. Second, um, let me share my screen again. Oops. So when when being on our page, um, there are several options uh, you can you can apply for. We have the general blocked account, and this is only the blocked account. Um, we have the health insurance for those who maybe applied with a different provider for uh, for the um, blocked account already, and then we have our value package. And the value package is offering everything you really need. Um, so this means we have the blocked account included, and the nice thing here is you would also receive forty nine euro discount. We have um, an incoming insurance, which is for free up to 92 days. Uh, also very important because um, <clears throat> because um, you need this product for your for your visa application. When being here in Germany, we guarantee you that you can activate a health insurance. We are working here with Technica Krankenkasse. So, this is also in the value package already included. And as I said, we will help you to find the right bank, um, the, the right current account for you. So this is always um, included in our value package. So all the products you really need, you apply for the value package and you receive everything you really need for your visa, for your uh, stay here in Germany. And the great thing is there's also a guarantee that you will receive the insurance confirmations within a few minutes yeah so this is super fast uh, because we are technically integrated with our partners um, so we are able to send you the partners documents we are receiving immediately as soon as we've received those that sounds very good um another thing where is this live chat just a second all right. So, um, hey, Bharat, can you explain the process that how to open the blocked account and health insurance and where to start? Dom, do you think we would have the time to like quickly take through the process? I can do. Um, not a problem at all. Mm-hmm. Um, so then let me share my screen again. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, as I said, you will come here when using expatrio.com to the expatrio homepage. Um, and then we have the different packages. Let's go for the value package now. So we say apply now. And then we will ask you about your current situations. What will you be doing in Germany? Um, maybe you are a bachelor student, maybe a master student, or something different. Let's say we come here for our masters. Then we just need to click agree. And we already ask you, hey, are you already in Germany or not? And in the most cases, people are not in Germany when applying for the blocked account. So it's no. Then we will ask you about your age. Why we do this? Um, because the age 
um, affects the price for the public health insurance at the end. Uh, so people younger than 23 do not need to pay that much. And here we are talking about a difference of two euros. So um, it's in general, it's, it's quite similar, uh, but this is just the, the calculation. More important when you're above 30, because then you are not able to apply for public health insurance anymore. Then you have to go for private insurance. And this automatically recommended here with our system, in our system. Um, here, in those cases, we would recommend Dr. Walter. But let's say we are between 23 and younger than 30 years. We click next. Cool thing when applying for a public health insurance for those who plan to bring the child's with to Germany, the child's are co-insured for free. Um, this is just information to you. And then we can calculate our, our account here. Let's say we have this 861 euro. Um, total account, uh, total amount we need to transfer. As said, we have the cashback here um, already. Um, and uh, then you can see, okay, I would receive 861 euro on a monthly base for the next 12 months. Um, and this is the total amount you need to transfer. As said, when applying for the value package, there's also a discount of 49 euro. So a cashback from our end, once you've activated your account, in total, this would cost you 10,492 euro. Uh, if everything is fine, we can click next. And then we have a nice overview about all the products we apply for. So we have the blocked account, we have the current account, the health insurance as said, the incoming insurance with Dr. Walter, and as said, this is for free, 92 days from your arrival. So not from the application, this is also important. No, from the day your arrival or here in Germany. Um, if you activate your public health insurance with Technica Krankenkasse, we will automatically cancel the incoming insurance because then you do not need it anymore. Um, and for sure, and this is the guarantee, we are not interested that you pay for something you do not need. Yeah? So this will be automatically cancelled. Other great thing here is we guarantee you that you have a coverage from the very beginning, uh, insurance coverage from the very beginning you're coming to Germany. So this is the expatriate expat guarantee. You will also receive the IC card for free. So this is uh, one of our additional benefits to you. Here is the general overview. So you have to pay six euro for the blocked account because cashback is already um, off. Incoming insurance for free, TK health insurance in this situation would cost you 110 euro. Um, you receive a lot of things. So you can go to the doctor if you're sick, you can go to hospital if you need, you can go to the dentist if you need. Some vaccinations are included, um, many things like this. So this is a very, very nice offer um, from the insurance providers here, um, because I can tell you as an employee, you have to you have to pay four or five times more for the mm. same coverage. Yeah? So this is really nice being a student, being uh, covered and insured um, in the Technica Krankenkasse. We can apply now. And then to make it short, um, we will ask you for just a few information for personal information. Um, I can I can quickly do this here. Um, so name, family name, and so on, um, the date of birth, um, and things like this. Um, I use just a second. Not B C D E D. Okay, let's go for a new email address here. So let's see if uh, this works now. Also, this is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five. Ah. Okay. So this is also an important uh, um, thing here. Um, the email address must be similar. So uh, this, of course, was just a test to show you what happened if you uh, type in uh, the wrong email address. Ah, okay. 
I think then in that case, I can link you guys the video that we have made previously about the entire onboarding and stuff. Yeah, I guess because I've already tried to apply with this account, uh, mm -hmm. this doesn't work because you just have uh, as this email address is an identity uh, or unique identifier. Mm -hmm. This is why it doesn't work. To make it short, what we ask you for is then your address in Germany. Um, oh, sorry, the address abroad um, from which country you will arrive. Um, you have to upload your passport um, in a good quality. So no black and white and things like this. Um, and um, as soon as this is done, we can um, verify this account, the bank will verify this account, and as soon as everything is done, you will receive the information to transfer the money. So it's a so-called O5 document. Um, this means, okay, you can, you can, you can um, choose if you would like to transfer the money in local currency, for example. So this is a special offer uh, expats will also do, um, or you can transfer the money in US dollar or even in Euro. Uh, for that, we can also do an additional webinar how to transfer the money then. Um, once this is done and we've received the money, you will receive the 06. Um, this is the confirmation that the money received our bank we are working with. Um, and this would be the document you have to show at the visa um, apartment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, um, Dom, I think we have some more questions coming up, which is like when we transfer this amount, do we have to send a little more 10,492 euros or something like that for assuming tax deductions or? No, everything will be will be um, will be already covered. So the bank will uh, exactly know and let you know how much the transfer will cost. So you do not have to transfer more money. Um, because banks will maybe deduct already additional 10 to 15 euros. So this is how, how much it costs to do the international transfers. If you should pay more, we have a buffer. And this is also important to let you know, this is your money. These are these 100 euro you, you saw. Um, and exactly for those cases, we would use it to guarantee that we receive enough money from you. Um, and let's say you've had to pay 15 euro for your transfer um we would use the buffer the 100 euro for this um which means at the end you would receive 85 euro back uh, just to make sure to have this super fast process um and exactly for those situations we are using this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and so I think one more question is, are the services given by different health insurance companies different? For example, some might give dental insurance as well as some might not. In that case, will I be able to select? No. So we are working uh, only with Technica Krankenkasse for the public health insurance and Dr. Walter for the private health insurance. Why we do this? Technica Krankenkasse, for example, got awarded now, I guess, 15 times in a row as best health insurance provider for internationals. Yeah. Um, and we are just working with the best. Um, and this is why we just work with Technica Krankenkasse. Dr. Walter is experienced in this market for more than 60 years already. Um, and, and this is also super important to share, we are technically integrated. As said, um, the insurance provider will inform us okay uh, the insurance document is ready and they send us automatically those documents into the portal and you can download it so this is also a very very huge benefit we just can guarantee with those two partners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um and also i think like my experience with dk is also for example like pretty nice like you will also have sometimes like english support that you can talk to and um like in general i've been with uh, kkh i've been with dk and stuff and i think like um dk is definitely like one of the better services that you'll find yeah personally i'm also using technic account mm -hmm. nice um now shreya bhatia is saying suppose on the day of transferring the money the euro rate is 85.60 indian rupees and we send need to send xyz okay so the thing here is Shreya, that most of the uh, remittance remittance services that you're using that will they will block the rate for that particular uh, transfer that you're making so you will know exactly how much money that you have to send and you do not need to like um, do any kind of guesswork there it will be very clearly mentioned exactly you can also show uh, and see when using um, our portal um, we are we are working with um, payment provider um, and, and you can exactly see how much money you need to transfer and this as Barrett already said will be blocked mm -hmm. 
Saurabh is saying, can you ask about spouse visa blocked account for spouse of a student? Um, so when coming with your with your uh, with your wife, for example, or, or your husband, um, the great thing when using Technica Kankas, for example, um, and your wife or your husband do not have any income, you can co-insure as child. So this is one thing. Um, talking about the blocked account, it always depends if you're already earning money. Um, if not, then you maybe have to apply also for a blocked account. But why I am saying maybe, many different cases in the last four years, um, and the embassy will exactly let you know what you have to do. Mm -hmm. If you need a blocked account, you can use Expatrio, not a problem at all. Maybe you don't need because you're already earning enough money, um, then you do not have to apply for a blocked account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I want to quickly share with you guys um, this um, link, which is already on Expatrio's website. And this is information for family reunion uh, visa or residence permit. And here it's also like very clearly written that you must consult with your respective uh, visa authority or foreigner's office before opening a blocked account. Because the thing is, like I've also seen this over and over again, many times you just have one set of requirements in one city or like one, like even district and like something completely different can be happening in the other district. So talk to them and get a proper letter which states like what kind of requirements are there for you to bring your spouse and like only then proceed with like you know making any kind of blocked accounts whatsoever and you can find this um article directly on expatrio's faq page perfect so then we have one more question which is um do i need blocked account if i get internship in german in a german company can i also do my masters with part-time job without blocked account so it this really depends adisan if you're having a paid uh, internship, I had a paid internship in Berlin at Slash Bergaman Partner. It was, I think, 800 euros per month or something that covered most of the expenses. And I did not have to um, worry about things. But if you're like coming up with an unpaid internship, it is possible that you might have to make a blocked account. Tom, uh, do you have any inputs on this? No, exactly what you've said. So um, for the first year, um, blocked account is is, um, is necessary um, or more or less necessary, uh, always depends. Um, but uh, this is what we recommend. And then if you extend your visa, they will exactly let you know what to do. So um, if you have a part time job, they will also check how much money you are earning. If your internship, same. Um, and then they will let you know, hey, maybe you can combine both. Um, this is really also very, very individual. But the good thing is, is you have to extend your visa and extend your blocked account. You can also easily do this on our page uh, in the user portal. You just need to click extend my blocked account. And then we would ask you the same questions, how much money you need to block for how long you need to block this. Um, and then the procedure would be the same as explained already. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Um, Pranesh, is, Pranesh is saying, can we just use N26 without the zero card? What are the benefits of having a zero card? Dom, are you using N26? Um, no, I'm not using N26. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm using um, my, um, my Deutsche Kredit Bank uh, mm -hmm. since, I don't know, 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so, um, but yeah, you can, you can, you can pay everything already with your phone mm. but what i have to tell you we're in germany and sometimes in germany especially when going to a restaurant you have to pay cash so um don't trust always in your phone yeah. always have a bit cash with you um because this could be a situation that they don't accept this if you go to um, a shop here, um, grocery store or whatever, um, in general, you are already able to pay already with your card, uh, with your with your phone um, or with the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I think with N26, I can tell you guys, N26 gives you, I've, I've used it and it gives you two things. First is a MasterCard and another one is going to be your Maestro card. And Maestro card is relevant in places where they just accept the ASA card or like it's written EC card and so on. So um, highly likely that it works there. Most of the restaurants, they are not going to accept your MasterCard, American Express or Visa because it has uh, this processing fee involved. That is like they have to pay another up to like, you know, three person or something on top of that money, which they don't want to pay, of course. And uh, that's why it is better that you have some kind of cash on the side. I think like just today, um, 
we live in the small city right now, Buxtehude, near Hamburg. And we went to, I, w- I wanted to go to this bakery. And I remember last time I went inside um, with the COVID restrictions and stuff. Like, I was not having ca- having any cash. And I was like, hey, can I pay with the car? And they're like, nine. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I let me go to the ATM and let me get the um, cash this time. So you will come across situations like these. It's better. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Dom, any other final um, tips, advices that you'd like to give for the students who are coming in right now? Talking about cash. So I really recommend uh, to have a bit cash with you, especially for the first um, two weeks, um, because as said, the activation process for the blocked account takes a bit. Um, We're super fast already, but it takes a bit. So five to seven days. And of course, you need access to money. Um, sometimes, as Barrett said, you go to the bakery, you have to pay cash, so take cash with you. Um, this is the most important hint for the very first days here in Germany. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think also like when you arrive at the airport or something, like have some kind of coins ready because when you're using these wagons, generally you would need to use a coin for that. Um, and also like, you know, cash, uh, like Dom said, it's, it's also like very, very important. I think like having somewhere on like 700 to 1000 euros on the side, if you can manage, that is already a good amount for, um, uh, the time when your current account is still not active. Right. Um, perfect. Uh, Dom, I think that was a very nice, um, webinar. And I think we were able to talk about both the activation and also like the value package and how do you start the onboarding and everything and also like cover all of your questions. If you still have anything left, uh, write in the comment section below. And uh, Dom, I'll see you in the next live session very soon. And yeah, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you.